Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome to another video of Uta Macross with me. So today's recording is a bit special. I'm actually using my MacBook Pro to do screen recording. Hopefully with this, the quality or the resolution of the game is slightly better. I suppose because, well, the, my iPhone screen is being displayed on my MacBook Pro's monitor right now. Um, and yeah. We're gonna try out something different. Uh, do let me know in the comment section down below if you find this version of recording clearer. Um, if not, well, I might revert back to the old style of recording which is on my phone. Uh, Alright, so this video is mainly talking about the latest updates. So if you go to the information box here, as you can see in the top column uh, that says new update version 1.6.0. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they've updated inside this uh, new update that you've downloaded from your app store. Um, yeah, but we're going to take a look at what is currently available to actually access. Um, there are some things that actually have not been fully implemented yet because of certain things. But let's take a look at what has been implemented. First of all, let's go into the wardrobe for the divas. And of course, usually, you know, um, what you can see from here, there is something new, which is this top left-hand corner um, where the UI button is above the home. So if you tap that, it will show you that you can now rotate your diva uh, in this particular um, screen format. So in normally, you will do this uh, and you will view your diva's costume. But... You know, now they've implemented this brand new uh, method of viewing your diva instead of rotating your handphone or your your um, tablets. You can actually view your diva just like this without rotating your mobile device, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, actually without this mode, you can actually do it here as well. <laughs> I just came across this by accident, which is fantastic. So you don't really have to use UI mode, I guess. I'm not sure why they need to use this uh, and maybe you want to take screenshots of it without the uh, the buttons and all that but yeah so this is pretty much the first thing that is brand new all right let's move on to the next thing which is inside the menu bar and of course the first thing you'll notice is this one so it's the event stories so in the past they did mention that you could view um, the old events that you have taken part in or rather uh, maybe you didn't take part in uh, and yeah and you can re recap everything that has gone through if you missed out the epilogue this is the time to actually look through the epilogues for the past events as well so that's pretty nice you can actually sort according to whichever series uh, the, the, the um, event is in so yeah, that's fantastic as well. So you can just take a look at whatever that is here. So opening. So you can even see the game's main opening, which is wow. It's way, 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 way back. So okay. Um, I don't recall there were being so few um, events. I remember there were way more than this. Maybe they've only included the more recent ones, I suppose. Hmm. Anyways. So there is one other thing that is in brand new in this update. So we're going to take a look at the Chaos Exchange. And of course, if you have not seen it before, on the UC bar here, there will be an exclamation mark. So if you let's go in, all the way to the bottom, you will see there's this new brand new SNS Unlock Key. So what is this used for? Basically, it is used to unlock any SNS displays that you have not seen so let's say for example um, during an event you didn't really play hard and you didn't unlock all the SNS stories uh, available for the event well you can still take a look at the SNS story uh, but you will not get the rewards of the singing stones so by using this item you can unlock the story and then you will get to see the entire story for that particular event for example if you're too tired or you're feeling lazy to play a particular event because um, that Macross series has no uh, you are not interested in so 
yeah, this is one way of doing it. Um, and the funny thing is, there is no unlimited purchase for this, so you can actually spam. Uh, well, the the max purchase here is ninety nine, but you can actually hold more than nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. You can actually go over the ten thousand uh, quantity, and you'll still be able to purchase more of this. But is there really a need to purchase a lot of this? I don't think so, because if you guys are playing the events, uh, religiously, um, you should. No, well, you shouldn't be needing to use this at all. So I, I just purchased 20 just just for the sake of it. Because like, look at my UC coins. I've got tons of it. It's like insane amount. <laughs> so anyways, guys. Uh, that's pretty much all that I found out that is brand new for this uh, update. Um, let's do a free gacha pool right now just for the sake of uh, entertainment. And hopefully we get something nice. Whoops, that's the problem with uh, forgetting to turn off the notifications. <laughs> Alright, so we got one silver box. Uh, let's not bother with the animation because definitely we will not get anything fantastic uh, if there is no Valkyries appearing in the free pool. Yeah, so okay, the other thing that was added in with the new update as well. Um, for you guys who are on Facebook, you will probably know I already posted about it. So, here the universe has been finally added um, as a permanent song. So you can go on, go into the memory zone, space time memory zone, basically, uh, and you can play the most basic level of the song and unlock it as a permanent song in the live section here. So. Yeah, I'm gonna tap out immediately because we have copyright music, you know. So, uh, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for the update for version 1.6.0. There shouldn't really be much more to it um, unless they haven't really been implemented yet, which is basically the new event style that's coming up for the Ranka event, um, which is interesting enough because... This brand new event style, um, it's it's a versus versus style like the past, but this time round they've included one more difficulty um, system, which is called the EX level. Um, basically, your opponents your your opponents level is no uh, well, double S is no longer the hardest. Um, the highest now is EX level difficulty which is huh um and the funny thing is okay i'm i i don't have the screenshots for it but we're gonna take a look at it in twitter <laughs> okay so twitter let's go into twitter this is my profile uh, the latest post, there we go. So we've got latest image for the event, a clear image for the upcoming event. And of course here they explain to you guys what EX battle high score ranking is all about. As you can see, the one that they highlighted in red, that is the EX battle high score. So it's a brand new style of um, point system. You will still have your standard point system, which is the one at the bottom below the red color box. It says there, uh, ten, uh, hundred and seven thousand points. That is your normal point system. While above is your EX battle high score. So my guess, um, like in the past events recently, there was a high score ranking system, but this time around, I think they changed the name to EX battle high score. I don't know. Um. Maybe because it's a battle system and well, it has a high score implementation, so that's why they name it EX Battle High Score. But to me, it feels like it's the same thing as the old high score ranking events, uh, in the past events that have been uh, brought to us recently. So, yeah, and there is another image here, so you can see there is like, uh, some notification here saying that oh, we've got EX rivals. Um, yeah, so and the three songs that are appearing in the upcoming event as well. Uh, well, three out of the few 
that is gonna appear. So <laughs> there's gonna be five songs in total if I'm not wrong. Um, so yeah, so they just showed only three of them. Uh, my guess is because this main three are all yellow in color. So that's pretty much what you need to look for in the brand new event that's coming. But of course, I'm gonna do another video talking about that. But that's for another time. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you like what you see and hear, do hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys, well, on Facebook or on my YouTube channel. Until then, bye.